Good morning. This is Bill from Audi Europa Naples, and today I have this very attractive 2005 Audi A4 Cabriolet. Uh, the thing that I really like about this generation of Audi is that it's just so bloody German. Uh, you know, it really is. It's, it's sort of like a, if you took a Volkswagen and added 30 to 40 percent more parts. Uh, you know, the way it looks is great. It's a very cool, uh, very well-styled car. Uh, you know, a little bit of a chunky bathtub look that's stretched out, aggressive. It just looks neat. Uh, I love those six-spoke alloy wheels. They really bring out the car. Uh, and this thing is just special in terms of condition, low miles, equipment, uh, just a fantastic used car. Uh, you can see everything nice all around, beautiful silvery blue paint, maybe airing a little bit on the side of blue. Uh, nice and straight down both sides. Uh, that beautiful trim that Audi has, you see it goes all the way around the car, into the windshield, uh, stainless, just beautiful to look at. Uh, gorgeous uh, front light setup. You know, I tell my detailers again and again, just make sure every car gets a front license plate if it's got a bracket. So uh, you can see they've done a fantastic job of that. Uh, you got your four rings of the Audi uh, Auto Union. Uh, you've got the fog lights down low and, uh, you know, everything looking really proper. So uh, let's go inside the trunk. To do that, you just pinch that little guy behind the Audi emblem. And you can see we've got a good amount of room there for a four-seat convertible, particularly with the top down. Uh, you know, you've got area to put a set of golf clubs. You can put your Costco in there, your Publix, whatever, uh, Wegmans, wherever you shop. Uh, you can pull this guy out. Is it that side? Yeah. And then uh, use it as a lever to push down. That'll free up this whole area to give you a ton more cargo room. Uh, you can also see it's got the original floor mats, sort of a testament to the low mileage condition of the car. This is the original bag for the windscreen. Uh, if you look at the keys this thing came with, let me dig them out. Look at that. Uh, two masters in great shape, a valet. Uh, you know, it just tells you that this was a very gently used car. I also like that uh, this is before they really started decontenting the cars. It does have the European warning triangle there. Uh, for the road. Good luck finding that on a modern German car. Well, if they can save, you know, five bucks a car times, you know, thousands and thousands of cars, I guess it adds up. All right, have a look under the hood. Now, of course, Audi has been building these four-cylinder turbos for a long time, and uh, they are fantastic engines. They deliver V6 power uh, with very respectable six-cylinder performance. Uh, the turbo systems are bulletproof, and this is no exception. So from a little 1.8 turbo, uh, it's bumping out about 175 horse. That's going through a CVT transmission, and uh, it really moves this car down the road just fine. You're going to have no issues with that at all. Uh, the turbo boost is, uh, is present, but it doesn't uh, interrupt the smoothness. Nice smooth pull all the way through, and uh, really lovely condition under the hood of this low mileage car. Absolutely mint. Nice solid thud, too, the way it closes. So you see we got the windscreen in place. It's a miracle that that's still with the car. Uh, if you could see through it, you can flip it down. Uh, the back seats are in fantastic shape. To get in there, we can lift this guy, move forward. You can see in there the leather is terrific. Uh, it also has this little power thing. So the person sitting behind you can really screw with you by moving you back and forth. Uh, back behind these uh, headrests here is Audi's rollover system. So in the event of, uh, you know, some sort of uh, terrible issue, these things are going to pop off. Up they come. They give you head protection in the event of a rollover. Uh, in the door panel, beautiful two-tone uh, beige and taupe. You've got this lovely painted gray uh, finish on the uh, trim. It looks very cool, very modern. Uh, you can see the Bose uh, Audi sound system. These are your windows with a four-way window switch, your mirrors, your locks. Uh, you can see it has power uh, front seats with lumbar. Uh, you know, Audi's big into safety, so even in this age, you have side airbags, front airbags, you know, all fantastic stuff. Uh, here's a beautiful leather steering wheel. And just look at the condition, again, of uh, this super low-mileage car. It's been so well-kept. This thing will make a fantastic condo car. If you're a Naples winter resident and you want to leave something down here, this would be great. 
Okay, so here's the part that I like. This is the part that makes it really uh, German in my mind, and it's not just the beeping which it's doing at me. Get my seatbelt on. I suppose I'll close the door, it'll stop beeping, and get my sunglasses wrapped up in the seatbelt. That's fantastic. Okay, there we go. So one thing I love is the red uh, illumination. It's hard to see in this light, of course, but at night, this thing lights up like the Starship Enterprise. It's got red illumination everywhere, up here with the vents, the, uh, you know, all the buttons on the stereo and the climate control. Uh, it's very, very cool and very, very German. Uh, see a beautiful leather steering wheel, nice little grippies at the 10 and 2. You got an old German style uh, headlights here, uh, once for parks twice for full on and then pull for front uh, fog and then pull for rear so very traditional setup there uh, of course you've got your uh, cruise control down there your high beam low beam turn signal your wipers with intermittent uh, you've got uh, look look at the pixels here these things always drop out so uh, either some very attentive owner has replaced all the displays in this car over the course of time or uh, it's just one of those special cars that didn't fall victim to the way so many did. So, uh, you know, look look at that. That Sometimes you can't even read those center displays and it's absolutely perfect in this car. Let's see what we got here. Check, brake lights, gonna go through all the checks. Oil pressure, washers, fuel, bat. I don't know what the hell that is. Mile per hour one and two. Everything's okay, so very, very happy with that. Uh, you can see it's got a nice tack, 6500 red line, your temp gauge over here, nice little chrome surrounds on them, uh, fuel gauge, and uh, of course your uh, speedometer. Look at the vent setup. If that's not uber German, I don't know what it is. That could be in some sort of a modern Messerschmitt uh, fighter. Three in the center, five in total. Pretty nice stuff. Uh, here you've got. Um, a great little place to store, you know, your goods and sundries. Uh, you got a little cup holder and that stuff. That's just a little tray for more stuff. Uh, here's your cup holder. Nice electronic stability program. That'll turn the traction control on and off. And uh, down here is Audi's Symphony sound system, which is very useful. You've got an in-dash CD, you've got an in-dash cassette, which will work fantastic if you want to use an adapter with your uh, cell phone. Also a satellite radio, which is terrific for an 05. That must have been a pretty expensive option because that was, that was a fairly uh, uh, big thing in 05. Wasn't around in many cars. Uh, down here, you've got uh, automatic climate control. Uh, all works extraordinarily well. Everything lights up, nice cold air. You got your heated seats, front defrost, rear defrost, an ashtray. Man, that isn't even an ashtray, so yeah, never been used. Uh, this very cool nickel plated uh, uh, shifter with the leather shift knob, nice stuff. Little place to put change. There's your convertible top. You see, some guys have been using it. It's got a little uh, wear at the top there. Uh, you can change the height of this uh, center armrest, pretty comfy. Inside you got more cup holders and uh, over here, of course, a very traditional glove box. So uh, up top, you got your home link garage door openers, your light controls, your mirror, you know, everything pretty damn cool. Let me run the top up so you can see that. So I'm going to push down on the button, cover comes straight up. Up comes the soft top. Look at the beautiful headliner. It's 100% power, so it's gonna fold itself all neatly into place. Down goes the rear, and the back, and the front. Keep your finger on the button, and it runs all four windows up. And hilariously, that changes the dynamic of the uh, automatic climate control, so all of a sudden it wants to kick the fan up to uh, accommodate for having the top up. Smart car. All right, there you see a very attractive taupe soft top. Really uh, matches the blue exterior well. Silver blue, I should say. Uh, glass rear window with defrost, mint condition, lovely top on this car. Look at that front license plate. I'm gonna kill those guys. All right, so anyway, have a look at that. Again, uh, you know, an 05 was 67,000 miles. It's, I'm gonna call this thing mint, uh, certainly in terms of age relative condition. All right, so let's get the top back down. 
go for a drive. Eh, you know what the hell with it. It's a little misty this morning. We'll leave the top up. Okay, and away we go. Again, look at that display. It's so nice to see one that's mint. Get a little more brightness there. So it's not what I'd call a rocket ship, but it's certainly adequate. Uh, you can hear that real, that turbo kicks in, it moves you forward. Uh, goes down the road just beautifully. Uh, no pull, steering is uh, nice and tight. Let that uh, Tahoe go by. I like the look of those things. Uh, no play in the wheel at all, no vibration. Uh, when you hit the brakes, there's no uh, brake vibration, just perfect, nice straight stopping. The giraffes are eating again. And there, when you hammer it, it gives you a little bit of response, gets you moving down the road. Uh, you know, it's just a fun car to drive. Of course, it's tight, it's together, it's built so well. Uh, you know, a lot of cars uh, from 05, they just feel like they're, you know, loose bucket of bolts this thing feels like everything is just cinched down tight the ride is nice it's not too sporty it's not sloppy at all it's just perfect good feel on the rump the seats are really comfy and there you go a uh, terrific all-around car for whatever you want to throw at it you know if you want to have top-down fun you can still move some people around you can still put stuff in the trunk uh, you know, it has a nice German panache, still a very modern design. I think 05 was the first year of this car, so uh, ran through uh, 2010, I believe, or close to it. And, uh, you know, lovely to look at, lovely to drive, good low miles, very reliable, good on gas. What's not to love? 2005 Audi A4 Cabriolet, 67,000 miles, just a real sweetheart of a car. If you have an interest, give us a call, 239-649-7300, on the web at mercedesexpert.com. Thanks so much for having a look. We appreciate it. We'll see you with the next one. Take care.